Love in the kitchen. Two, one. Action. Oh, so this is me. Yes, this is you. Welcome, okay. Geneva. Welcome, guys. You're in the kitchen with Geneva Crow, aka Crow Eats, and we're about to eat a lot right now. So please stay tuned to our show. Nope, not saying that. Not saying that. We need to start from over. everyone welcome to my youtube channel just kidding it's not a youtube channel let's all relax so today i was actually in the mood to share like it's actually one of my favorite recipes it's a shrimp and rice like a classic shrimp and rice but i'm going to show you how i make it because i feel like it's one of the dishes that you could make for your boo your bae, your hubby, your lover, however you want to call that nigga in your life, it's for him. Okay, so Geneva, walk us through what you prepared. Okay, so so far, so far right here I've prepared the rice. I'm not actually going to show you guys how I do that because I assume you guys know how to prepare rice. If you don't know, then you got some problems and we need to figure it out. Yes, I do not mind. Um, first question is, is Valentine's Day more, more of a man or a woman? I feel like it's both, but definitely a woman thing. I don't know. I feel like because I also just like things. I, I, I genuinely, I like things. I like the whole point of the day. I feel like it's just about celebrating love, you know, but it doesn't necessarily need to be with a partner. Like you can express your love. My sister is actually born on Valentine's Day. Happy birthday, Sammy. So it's just about celebrating your loved ones. Like it doesn't matter who. Okay, so like first things first. Before I even start cooking, a girl's gotta have a drink. A girl has got to have a drink. And right now I am preparing a mimosa with the dry rosé. If you actually saw that video with me, it was like, these wines are the best wines ever. Sponsored by Tololi. Great. So I am making a mimosa. With, yeah. <laughs> I am making a mimosa <laughs> with some fruit, some macaine, some lemonade, because I feel like I really like white wine spritz. I feel like I've always said that. I enjoy white wine spritzes. Some wine, lemonade, fruits. And there we go. Just, I mean, before we start this journey, because I mean, it's going to be a lot to take in. <sighs> Fantastic. This just tastes like summer in your mouth. Oh, it's like, guys, okay. I'm, go I'm just about to get into it. Like, I'm definitely getting into it right now. Protea, dry rose, some oranges, and a lemonade from McCain. Literally, summer in your mouth. Fruits bursting. Bubbles bubbling it up. I'm here for this drink. And look how beautiful it looks. I mean, hello, close ups. Can we get some close ups, please? Close ups for the drinks, darling. Close ups for the drink. Yep. <laughs> Do you consider yourself romantic? Oh my gosh. I consider myself a hopeless romantic. I feel like I definitely consider myself a romantic being. Like, for sure. I love everything about romance. I love everything about love. Like literally. Even if I even if I get played, I'll like take some time to heal. But I won't like tell myself, oh my gosh, don't do that, don't try that again. Don't you know? Like I just I love my I allow myself to fall. Like fall in love, dude. Just because one nigga was not acting right doesn't mean 
all of them are gonna be like fucked up you get what i mean so it's just about taking a chance all the time Okay, so now that the rice is done, we are going to make the shrimp. First things first, um, definitely the pan is on. We're gonna put the oil in there. And then we're gonna add the garlic. We're gonna add our sun-dried tomato relish and garlic just to make it easier. You do not obviously wanna be standing in the kitchen for years. We're not cave women, you know? So yeah, that's it. Make it easy for yourself this one guy he was like super interested in like in me right so then we actually met a year prior he did quite well so we met like we met like two years ago and then we were like probably chatting for like a year this thing i can't open it <laughs> Thank you. See, that's probably why I like I need a man in my life. Probably for these moments alone, only this. <laughs> that's probably why it hasn't gone that far. I don't know. I feel like I I'm still yet to feel that kind of love where I'm like, oh my gosh, like oh my, this is the person that I want to spend forever with. So I just added the tomato relish and the garlic in the oil. So I'm just gonna lower the heat. There we go. Next question. like it depends on what the, what the kind of lady that you are if you are the type that you you know you you really love gifts and you expect that you know and it's it's something that you always receive then yes it's great but if you are someone that just likes to kick back chill you know spend quality time as your gift then that's also fine so right now I'm adding some tempura prawns in the pot I feel like tempura prawns are definitely a way to spice it up because I've never made tempura prawns in a pan before so I feel like this I can't wait for Oh god day <laughs> You can profess your love any day of the week you can do it however you want to do it but I feel like this specific day I mean, just do it for the pop culture. Like, just express it. Just go all out. Don't be shy. I feel like we have a lot of shy boys in our town. We have a little shy ones. I feel like most of them are quite shy. So I just feel like it's just a, it's just a matter of just like go for it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? No, boo hoo, you whore. <laughs> and like, then it's over. Bye. I'm cutting up some fresh basil, by the way. This basil is fresh. I'm gonna add it there. Are you spending, uh, spending this Valentine's alone? I am, I am spending this Valentine's alone. I actually am. I really actually am. And I don't mind it, actually. Like, I'm really fine, because the thing is, it's like, it's, I've also, I also haven't made the effort, so I also know, okay, okay, but Jen, what you also expect, you also haven't really, you know, so, you know, so for me, like, it's fine, like, I really didn't even think so much about it, you know, I was just gonna have fun, see what the day throws at me, and then just chill, very much true. I'm curious, if two people like me, yep. does that? automatically make a Valentine's party. Okay, you have a Valentine's 
You can have a Valentine outside the relationship, but like let that stick to like secret admirer level. However, you you still have to ask me to be a Valentine. What do you think this is? A show? <laughs> you have to ask me to be a Valentine. I feel like as my boyfriend. <laughs> I never said that before. <laughs> As you know, my supposed boyfriend, I feel like he's gonna still have to try and ask me to be his Valentine. Because I feel like sometimes niggas, like once they get you, once they have you, they forget. They forget that you're actually a baddie. They forget. So then it's a thing of like, okay, now it's just because you have me, now you're comfortable or what? You know? So I just feel as though like, you know, I feel like the guy that's gonna be like dating me, he's gonna try and like impress me every day. He's going to impress me every day. He's not even gonna believe like who he has next to him. He's gonna be like, oh my God, is that my girl? <gasps> you know, like, yes. Mm-hmm, and vice versa. So if you found out your man mm -hmm. was a secret admirer, someone secret admirer, he was and, someone's secret admirer. Yeah, and he gifted that person something on Valentine's Day. How would you take that? I wouldn't mind. I feel like it's the 21st century around here. Like, honestly, I wouldn't mind. Secret admirer, like, it's fine. I really, I really wouldn't mind it. I really wouldn't mind it. I think that's cap. I really wouldn't mind it. I feel like I really wouldn't mind it if he had a secret admirer and he bought it like a gift or something. I feel like... I don't know, maybe I'm too open with it. But I personally feel like it's not that deep. I mean, unless you're trying to say, are you like, are you dating her as well? Are you trying to marry her? Like what's going on? But if it's like a secret admirer, I mean, what if, what if you're walking in the mall and it's like, I see a guy that's like really attractive and I'm like, wow, that guy's really handsome. Are you going to pin me to the cross? No. So I feel like, if he has an admire, if he likes, say this and he finds a girl really pretty, like, oh my gosh, just for you. Do it then. Do it. Can I have the fresh cream, please? Okay, uh, he's going to us, you ideal thing. Oh, I need, I need to have a drink for that one. My ideal date would be my ideal date I don't even know where how and with who all I know is that this date is gonna happen exactly like this I'm gonna get a call I don't know who it's gonna be from and it's gonna be like would you like to meet me in Rome and then we're gonna go to Rome and then we're gonna meet like by the boat. Cause you know, that's what we do on a regular. We go on yachts. So he's gonna be like, would you like to go for a boat ride, Miss Geneva? And I'm like, yes. And then we go for a boat ride. And then we like just, oh, we just like gliding. And it's just so beautiful. You see the ambiance, you see the vibes, you see the people, you see the culture, and it's just champagne. It's chocolate, it's seafood. a nice silk dress and he looks just fine who oh, knows how it's gonna look like I don't want to know but I don't want a picture and I want to be surprised cool and then you know he's just gonna sweep me away with my feet impress me you know let me show up there with some diamonds mademoiselle take your pick I'm like oh my god thanks <laughs> you didn't have to <laughs> but I mean you could you want to yeah so that's my ideal date so yeah this is how I feel the guy I'm I don't believe it. I'm not gonna ask a nigga for nothing like literally no 
like a man should be a man like why must we confuse things just be a gentleman i feel like but i feel like it's a thing of like when it comes to that question when you find yourself asking that question of like am i gonna wait for my girl or who's gonna then you should know you need to grow the fuck up because a man is gonna do what a man should do without any questions so i feel like women know who they are and they're gonna get it right they don't have they don't have to be asked because a gentleman knows you've been raised right by your mother CJ kill job. Mm. Easy. Easy. But I like that game. Can we do another one of that? Um, Can you use some female? Okay. Just for the vibes. Um, so we are. How's our dish coming? It's coming along good. Okay, um. <coughs> We have another one. Mm -hmm. um, Smash, Great Kill, mm -hmm. Lioness, mm -hmm. Maria Nepembe, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, Kurtzka Kursa. She was under RTE, the. Shami. Yeah, Shami, yes. Mm -hmm. Lioness? What is that? Lioness? Lioness, and... Maria Nepembe, and Shami. And it's. Smash, Mary Kill. I'm 
kill her. But <laughs> it's like the it's like it's it's just the fact that it's the last option on the list between the two. Um, maybe if you said shared a moment with <laughs> <laughs> maybe that I would then I would say yes her for sure. I don't think I would go as drastic as like killing the bitch. I'll have another one. Mm -hmm. Script King T D or known as the dog KP is. I'm gonna marry KP because he's fun. I'm gonna check script because he's just emotional. And then I am going to kill the dog. Yeah, like a long time ago already. Okay, um, would you like to do two more? Yes. Okay. While I'm like dishing, I need a spoon to dish this out. Do you want to get these shots of how it looks from the top? Second last one, Smash Mary Kill. Yep. Delish Matthews. Shana uh, uh, Majila and Betty Davis. <sighs> what an interesting mixture. Hmm. Um I feel like I would marry. share a moment with then that would be the option like i don't really want to kill you guys no. but yeah that's actually the option yeah next okay um last one mm -hmm. this is for the gents smash me kill louis munana nicola dos santos dj dress oh nicola and dj dress they already look so alike um, I'd probably marry Louis because I mean we can get along fashion wise okay I feel like I could marry Louis um, I'd probably share Nicola and not that I would like in actual reality like this is just an option. Like honestly, th these are just options. Honestly, I don't want people to get over their head. Mm -mm. So yeah, I would shave Nicola and kill DJ Treyas. But after he drops the album. After he drops the album, definitely as your sayonara, signing out, DJ Treyas. Yeah, um, the dishes now is our food ready. The food is ready. I would love to dish it now actually. So in front of you we have the shrimp.
shrimp like it's a very saucy shrimp recipe but instead of shrimp i opted for tempura prawns because the tempura prawns is something i see that's always fried but i was like you know let me try it out a different way let me see how i can spice it so i feel like tempura prawns is an option you might have tempura prawns just in the freezer and you don't know what to do with it apart from fry it super unhealthy stop that so the tempura prawns cheesy there's just a lot of flavor basil black pepper everything everything is in it it's just beautiful tastic rice on the side because i feel like tastic rice is the best side dish when it comes to anything that's involved with shrimp or seafood so let us dish obviously with the mimosa in the mix let's not forget this because we she we've been enjoying her we've been enjoying her throughout so props to her i'm gonna have a sip now mm -hmm. okay any questions what what has been your favorite experience so far in your culinary journey just like trying out all the new food literally i love trying new food it's so nice it's honestly so nice i literally want to travel just to eat food my facts So yeah, let's go give this to our men's ladies. When you are cooking, make sure that you wear something underneath so you are like ready to serve your men. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, this was my Valentine's Day dish. Happy Valentine's Day, whether you are spending it alone with a partner, with a, a family member, relative, colleague, you name it. Happy Valentine's Day.